Hi, everybody. I wanted to hop on here really quick and just show you some of the things that we do to mitigate EMF. So lots of people are sensitive to EMF. There's dramatically more EMF in the environment, I, I think, literally every day. And a lot of people are looking for solutions for it. So I want to show you what we do and uh, I do with my family. There's essentially two big ways to work with it. You can have EMF blocking technology or EMF mitigating technology. And I think they're both beneficial. We use a combination, but I just want to show you how they work. So if you're doing EMF blocking, that's stuff where you're going to be able to measure it with a EMF reader like this. This is an Acousticom 2. And you should see that the EMF increases as it gets closer to say like your cell phone. So I want to show you really quick. So if I have my cell phone on and Okay, so I've got it on here. It's not on airplane mode. I'm going to put it down on the chair here, and then you guys can kind of see what happens. I'm going to turn this on. You're going to hear it in a sec, too. So you'll hear where it's at. We're at about 0 0.3, 0 0.1. As we get closer here to the phone, you can see it's already going up to about six. Really, yeah, that's right off the charts there. Now let's see what happens if I put it on airplane mode. Okay, hang on. Okay, it's on airplane mode now. And you can see that that's on airplane mode. Okay. And I'm putting it back down there. And let's see. So maybe a little bit, it's not jacked right up at six, but it's still up at three. Very strong. So I think that's really important to see how much airplane mode really does very little. So if you are keeping it close to your body on airplane mode, stop doing it. Don't put it up to your ear. Don't keep it in your pockets. Um, it really is. You're getting, you know, three to six gigabytes minimum probably at any given time. And I find these things can spike and come down at different times too. So one of the things I want to show you, this is one of the technologies we use. This is a company called Bon Charge. And again, I don't have anything to do with Bon Charge, but this is something that we use. I'm going to take this off of airplane mode. Okay, so it's back on regular. On here, this basically gets put in between here. Okay, it gets underneath that cushion. And I'm going to turn this back on. And let's see how it is when I go closer to there. Okay, down around 0.3 to 1. So that actually does quite a good job of mitigating the EMF from six down to there. If you have a blocking technology, then get something like this to actually see if it's going to make a difference. Okay. Check different areas in your house just to see where the hot spots are. Um, Bottom line is that nighttime, we take all of our devices, our phones, our tablets, and they all go in that blanket. Okay. Um, I've tried different things from them. We actually tried their um, actual phone device or sheet. You're supposed to put your phone in here and it blocks it. I didn't find that made a big difference. So I'm going to check on that too. I'm going to test that a few more times um, and, and look into it. But the blanket does seem to work really well. So everything goes underneath the, that blanket at night. And also shut off the Wi-Fi. Shut off the Wi-Fi before you go to bed. See if you notice some big differences when you do that. A lot of people get big differences in, in just headaches. And, you know, one of the things that Dr. Ibrahim Kareem really figured out was that EMF, and he's the founder of biogeometry, he found out that EMF has a very dehydrating effect on the body. And I think that's probably at the root, this, this actually dehydration from a cellular level. And what we're learning is that EMF also destructures the water in the body. So I think that likely all plays into the symptoms that people are getting. And I feel like we need to be rehydrating with structured water in a big way to actually rehydrate so that we can mitigate some of the dehydrating effects of the bombardment of EMF that I think we're all exposed to. So shut the Wi-Fi off, put your devices under something like that if you're able to, and see how that feels. See if you notice any changes. 
The other way to work with EMF is the EMF mitigating technology. And these are things that you are not going to see go down when you are using um, a device like this. It's not going to drop. But what is being studied is that the symptoms people experience from EMF dramatically drop. So the two companies or the two sort of technologies that I've used are biogeometry. That's like this pendant that I wear. Um, and it's also, I've taken the advanced training with them and I've, I've decked out our whole place with biogeometry as well. And that's using angle and, um, and design principles that you can actually use that create sort of flood the space with this, the same type of energy and the wavelengths of energy that you would see in, um, power spots on the planet where people usually would go to heal and whatnot. So really fascinating work. He's done a lot of detailed work around that. So that's an area you could check out called biogeometry. The other one that we use that is very simple to use and I think is really effective too is FLFE and that's focused life force energy. And we did a discussion with these guys a little while ago. So I'll put a link to their episode there, but you can learn more about it. But they've got a technology that creates high consciousness fields that they can put around your property. They can put it on your phone or different objects. And I would absolutely try that out. I know when we've done it, um, Taya's noticed some big changes and she's more sensitive to EMF and she found headaches drop down significantly. Sleep got better. Her mood started to even out even more, like a lot of benefits. So it's the power of having these mitigating layers around you. A lot of times we don't even know what is what we're being bombarded with. There's so much outside of our perceived senses that is affecting us. And so I think these layers of support help us just get back into our own bodies and help us to mitigate a lot of symptoms that we don't realize actually don't have anything to do with us or coming from stuff stirring up outside of our, our personal field. So the FLFE guys, they have got a free trial for 15 days. Uh, again, I don't work with FLFE. Um, we haven't collaborated with them at this time, but this is technology that I just, we use and we found really beneficial. I've had some really great feedback from people. So they offer a free trial for 15 days around your property and 15 days around your phone. So give it a try and see what you notice. Again, with the mitigating technologies, they're not going to go down on this. So don't expect that. It doesn't mean that they're not working. They just work in a different way. So we incorporate both of them. I think right now, any logs we can pull out of the fire and give our bodies more resilience to deal with everything, it, the better it is for all of us. So write me in. Let me know how that goes. I would, I'm really curious to hear how people are finding these different technologies and if they get benefits from them as well. All right, everybody. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.